Good morning, everyone. Thanks for uh, joining for the daily rune reading. I hope that everybody's doing fantastic. Now, we just had a uh, um, daily read on the cards, and it's funny because I always start out with the date. Today's the 20th of August. These reads, re <laughs> somebody needs to talk today. Um, and I'm also tired. I've been on the night watch uh, on my vehicle last night because of things that have been happening in the night. And uh, so a little bit of what I'm going to talk about as well. But uh, I, I always like to start uh, with the date and correspond it to the high arcana. Okay, well, th these rune reads are meant for the next 24 hours, okay? And, um, but today's date is the 20th, and I was talking on the card read um, that it's the judgment card. It's about reflection and second chances and things coming up out of the ground, and that it's very karmic uh, energy. It's Pluto energy. It's things that have been frozen. It's things that have died, right? And it's been completely transformed. It's an it's a end of some type of a, a cycle, you know. It's also freedom because it's the people coming up out of them graves, right? Um, so, and it's about decisions and people returning to you. Now, within the 20, we do find the 2 and the 0, and the 0 is the, um, so that's uh, that Scorpio energy with that judgment card. Um, things can be very hidden, very investigative. That energy is very investigative as well. Things coming to the surface, things that will draw you and magnetize. You know, it's, very, it's like a big old magnet just pulling you. <clears throat> but within the 20, uh, hold on just a second, y'all. Uh, within the 20 is the 2 and the 0. Uh, the 2 is the high priestess, and um, that is about hidden things and not talking about things and myster mystery. And y'all, I'm still having my coffee, so bear with me. Uh, the things in the unconscious mind, it's connected to the moon. She's got the moon under her feet. And I was saying on there that, you know, sometimes people doing deceptive things and putting that moon under their feet and, and, and knowing about it and stuff like that. Uh, this is about cycles of things. This is about gut instincts and just knowing. It's also, the high priest represents things that were meant to happen uh, because she holds that scroll in her hand, right? The inner voice, and people need to pay attention today of things that could be returning to you, coming up out of the grave from past things, and they're karmic, like I said, because it's connected to Pluto energy. And then it's got the full, the zero, the two and the zero. It's, that's the full energy, and uh, that's Uranus and Mars. <laughs> That's warlike passion and things changing just like that. <clears throat> Coming up out of the grave kind of stuff. So that energy is, uh, you know, that uh, Aquarius knowing something. And Aries energy to start something. And the high priestess is both earth and water because uh, both Pisces and uh, Virgo hold that ch uh card and then the moon being connected to the moon that's over the house of cancer but it also can be tied to all of the water signs and we're seeing the judgment card in the number 20 in today's date that scorpio energy um so we're getting all of it cancer pisces scorpio energy uh, so and that's all found in all of our chart and we, so we need to tap into being still today and listening to the intuition and paying attention to the cycles of things and people returning to if you hadn't seen somebody in a long time they came and you had something negative with them really pay attention and uh, if you you know if somebody's returning and it's a beautiful thing well that's beautiful then still use your intuition <laughs> because you just never know in situations just in in just situations in general so uh, I, I was talking about that, and literally, the High Priestess and the Judgment card were the first two cards that came out in that reading. Go watch that reading. So, uh, if you're going through things uh, that have been secret, and you've just had gut instinct feeling about it that are hidden, uh, you just really need to continue to use, pay attention to your dreams and stuff like that. Um, <laughs> amazing to me there's renewals though for people going on today that energy of that today's date now just remember like i said if things karmic what you do will come back in some kind of vibrational form to you and i when we put a seed in the ground it will always come back up so whatever you're planting today just remember long term all right thank you sweet spirit for clear to find messages we bind and block all negative forces that would try to come in and hinder the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth 
we ask for wisdom and knowledge and understanding what needs to come forth here for August the 20th. Okay, well, we have this little guy. I think it's the Z. To me, and it's like this in the runic alphabet, but it looks like a broom, and it's time to, you know, quit brushing stuff under the rug, face it for what it is, come up out of the grave, come back to, if you're somebody who needs to return to somebody and speak, because a high priestess re represents somebody who don't speak. It's time to communicate some things and uh, return and be upright, okay, in some things. Let's see what this is, though. <clears throat> what number vibration is with it. Uh, I'm still learning these, y'all. So those, welcome back to those who are on my channel. I, my channel's been suppressed for a long time, and I've been, I've got all kinds of videos on my channel, so if you guys want to go check them out, please do so. Now, this, like I said, keep your intuition open and up, because this is the Z in the runic alphabet, but it's also the number 15, and 15 in the high arcana is the devil card. It's Saturn energy testing you and I. When you see that devil card in a read, uh, that is a testing card for you you yours and my uh integrity okay now that's saturn that's over the house of capricorn but it's also the four fifth signs so leo aquarius um scorpio and uh, taurus energy so you could be dealing with banks and stuff like that be real careful about signing uh, things like that and um um the 15 has the magician energy so things that you're going to be uh, creating and manifesting today. Really use your intuition. That devil card wants to, uh, you know, uh, chain you down and enslave you and get you in your mind and, and you know, put you in bondage and restraints and stuff like that. So really use your integrity today. Pay attention to lies and truths. And when your knower goes off, you know, uh, pay attention to that. The Hierophant is uh, five, number five within the number 15. And that's about traditional things. You could be dealing with, you know, people wanting to conform something or not and that is also a spiritual card but in a very practical way that's a card of uh, the Taurus but it's also found uh, with that Capricorn energy and then the, the one the five is the six and that's the lovers card that's about making choices y'all uh, within partnerships of any kind love situations um, you know uh, whatever it's just about making choices all right and getting balanced because that energy is uh, about balance as well balancing in the mind your thoughts and all that kind of stuff so let's go ahead and see what the actual uh letter means here um algies is what the name of it is i guess uh 15 let's see what it says maybe it'll turn out to be something really fantastic which we need um it means yeah this one came out the other day uh this means resistance well, when the devil energy comes out, uh, you, you and I need to resist uh, the negativity and uh, stand in your integrity. Uh, this also means help. And so some of you are watching people going through things like this and it's in your power to help somebody in some kind of crisis or in, in, in anything like that. Please step up to the plate. And, and do that and speak and don't hold back. Like I said, the high priestess energy, that, that's, that's no talky. And some people are being blackmailed not to talk in situations and they need to not be afraid to go to authority. And, and we've got, like I said on that other video, we've got the good, the bad, and the ugly found in any kind of organization that's out there, uh, right? And um, because the 20 in today's day, it's got the zero and the zero represents a big entity, but it means everything and nothing at all as well. So keep that in mind. Uh, just keep your keep your intuition really high up today and uh, raise your vibration. This also means that a, a real impediment can be overcome, right? So if you put your mind on something and you had some type of impediment, it can be overcome. We've got the sweet divine to help you and I overcome whatever it is. Um, this is also protection granted. That's beautiful because I was talking on that other video that, man, the divine is so uh, tangible to you and I, guys. I was talking about how um, before I got started on that other video that I have a deck of cards that I have created and I just felt like taking a card just right out of the middle and that was the card that came up, you're protected. And uh, I also took another card and it said, 
uh, get grounded. And so I literally went outside and, you know, barefooted and stood on the earth, closed my eyes and got grounded. And some people just need to go get grounded. And you, you, I come in and boom, it's just like the creator literally showed up. And that sometimes that's all we need is we just get so bombarded with stuff and something as little as that, taking your shoes off and going outside, literally just becoming one with the divine in heaven and your feet touching the ground and grounding yourself does wonders to you and I. And uh, so the Z, so a person, place, or a thing, uh, or any of these numbers that I've mentioned today, a birthday, an anniversary, something like that, maybe that means something to someone. Let me read it again. Resistance, help, uh, wait, is that the right one? Yeah, a shield. Oh, I didn't read that. It also means a shield. Well, that's helping somebody. Be a shield for somebody today. If you guys are somebody in authority, uh, you know, please do your job with uh, integrity and be a shield to help people in domestic violences and, and be, things like that. Be a shield. Um, this also can represent impulse right and uh that's amazing because that um warlike energy uh that mars energy is showing up today uh, for all of us as well you literally just keep our intuition going recovery a real impediment that can be overcome and protection granted we are shielded by the great divine y'all and so rest in that uh Peace, P-E-A-C-E. If you read it backwards, it's escape. And so keep your mind there, right? All right, guys, tell me how it goes. And welcome back to those who have been gone. And uh, uh, we've been missing, I've been missing you. And hopefully you've been missing me. And now we've been found, right? Have a wonderful one. Bye-bye.